Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. I'm going to jump right in the charts, bringing up the banter bubbles. Great product they launched. I recommend you check it out. Uh, checks out all the different time frames, what coins are trending in the 15 minute Pepe's up the most on the hourly flex XDC popping up and on the day. Flex a big leader, Casper and Optimism 5.33% XDC and Pulse getting a bounce after Richard's heart's heart car torn out. And yes, what happened yesterday? I'll bring it up. Uh, I'm going to bring up Dixie. We'll go around the general markets here um, and take a peek. But US credit rating got downgraded. And what did Janet Yellen have to say? Janet said, I strongly disagree with Fitch's rating decision. <laughs> And Jamie Dimon said, oh, I'm not worried about it. And Warren Buffett said, well, he didn't, he said something like, I'm not worried about it as well. But I saw this this morning. I thought this was great. You should all check it out. What did Warren Buffett say? He said, I can fix and the national debt national problem in debt. five seconds by doing what? Let's hear what yeah. he says himself. This is Warren Buffett, $100 billion guy. Here's what he says. Go for it. Dude, these problems are, are problems that have built up over decades, and there hasn't been a Congress that's been mature yeah. enough or a president that's been mature enough to take this head I, I can end the deficit in five minutes. You just pass a law that says that anytime there's a deficit of more than 3% of GDP, all sitting members of Congress are ineligible that's for re-election. That's accountability. The curse right. board in America the last 30 years mm -hmm. has been accountability. If we can bring accountability in hospitals in con, I think he's got a great point. Warren Buffett had something good to say for once. Just kidding here. Uh, stacks, and here's what you're hoping for on stacks. Uh, stacks, you're hoping that you do not take out this low right here. As long as that low is not taken out, well, pressure's on to the upside. At least on the four-hour time frame, I'm going to bring it up for a quick one today, guys, because I don't have a lot of time here, but. We're still in the four hour range, right at 29,200. And we did hold the daily pivot back from yesterday. We said, hey, as long as 29,150 holds, well, the line in the sand has been hold, <laughs> has been holded. Um, and, uh, you know, momentum is to the upside. We'll cross down today below 29,084. I would be aware of that. Uh, momentum is going to flip down below 29,084. I'd say that is now the pivot on the market and the four hour time frame. you know, looks like more consolidation. Honestly, I, I, I could see it flipping around here for a little bit longer as uh, volatility is declining on the four hour and the one hour says, um, well, it says a little bit more upside action here. And, uh, and really until we, you know, the bigger, I'd say the bigger wicks, the bigger wicks to the upside there, to the downside here, a little bit wider of a range here on the four hour, 30,000 to the upside, 28.5 to the downside. You can narrow that down on the daily, I'd say, uh, if we want to stick with the current line in the sand, well, it would be right there at 29,175. However, um, and that probably does give it enough damage, but I'd wait for momentum to flip back down to the downside because a lot can happen. We got five hours left in the day here. So a lot can happen in five hours. Does the 12 hours say anything? Flopping around momentum there. Eight hours says um, down. Pressure is down. Volatility is still increasing. You could still get a decent move to the downside there on the eight hour. Six hour pressures to the downside. Uh, and four hour uh, is going to cross up above 29,280. So when it's going to be the next few 15 minute candles. Can we play out a bounce off this green 55 is the question. And does the bounce have any legs? We'll see. We'll only find out tomorrow, guys. So again, uh, leaving it in the range here. Overall, because of the weekly time frame, weekly bearish divergence, uh, pressure is onto the downside and momentum is to the downside. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with a little more updates. Take care and have a blessed day.